the top 10 most famous people to ever live in Michigan and leave. Why would you do that? Why would you leave such a great state? Michigan sure does crank out some pretty talented people. So talented! All right, so back to this list, or to start this list. Number 10 on the list, David Spade. That's right, the Spade Man. Does anybody call him the Spade Man? I don't think that's a thing. He was known for his roles on Saturday Night Live and the show Just Shoot Me, Rules of Engagement, Joe Dirt. Why aren't you talking to the microphone? Everybody knows about Joe Dirt. I got a backup mic right here. I should have a mullet wig for this video. Tommy Boy. I think your brain is a thick candy shell. Black Sheep. The list goes on and on. Tommy Boy was the best. Oh, it's so good. It's still good to this day. I should have my kids watch that. Are you talking? Shut up, Richard. So David Spade was born in Birmingham, Michigan, one of my favorite places in the state of Michigan. And he moved to Arizona when he was four. So I don't even think he had a, a decision, but he could come back now. Come on, David, come back. Come back. Number nine on our list is Ken Jeong. He's known for his roles on Community, Dr. Ken, The Masked Singer, The Hangover. Everybody remembers him from The Hangover. It's funny because he's fat. If you have not seen The Hangover, I don't know. That's crazy. I feel like that's a, just a movie that everyone has seen. He was actually born in Detroit and moved to North Carolina. North Carolina. You can come back too, Ken. We would love to have you here. Buy a house here. We've got the money. Of course, dude. That is cool. Number nine on our list is John Hughes. He's known for writing, producing, and directing some of the biggest comedy films of the 80s and 90s, like National Lampoon's Vacation, 16 Candles, Weird Science. Remember Weird Science? I mainly remember Weird Science, the TV show, but the movie was good too. Also, The Breakfast Club. Everybody knows Breakfast Club. Speaking of The Breakfast Club, there's a restaurant by me called The Breakfast Club. Amazing. Nothing to do with John Hughes, though. Also known for Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Pretty in Pink, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Some of my favorite modes of transportation and favorite movies. He's a freaking comedic genius. You need to meet some people like that. Sadly, he passed away in 2009, but his work lives on. Film, sort of like these videos, are gonna be around forever. Yeah, just like that. He was born in Lansing in 1950, but he actually grew up in Gross Point. It's a suburb of Metro Detroit that is amazing. You should check it out. If you ever have a chance, if you're ever in the area, go check out the points. It's a lot of points, so many gross points. But he moved from there to Chicago when he was young. So I love Chicago too, so I can't, I can't be mad at him for that. But I still say he was a Michigander. Number seven on our list is Elizabeth Berkeley. It's all Rex, I'm seeing my bill. I don't know it goes. Probably remember her from Saved by the Bell. She was born in Farmington Hills in 1972. Farmington Hills! I talk a lot about Farmington Hills on this channel. You can check out my pros and cons about Farmington Hills video here. She actually graduated from North Farmington High School before going to Cranbrook a few years later. Cranbrook is in Bloomfield Hills. Both Farmington Hills and Bloomfield Hills are amazing cities. I love them both. And are in some of my top 10 places to live in Michigan videos. Check those out. Not right now. Number six on our list is Burt Reynolds. Burt, Big Burt. Oh man, nobody calls him Big Burt. They probably, well, somebody had to have. Big Burt, you probably know him from Smokey and the Bandit. He was the Bandit. Well, who's Smokey? I would love to know who Smokey, like I have no idea who Smokey was. It's just the Bandit. In the car, I remember the Bandit, I remember the car, because I love cars. Born in Lansing, but then he moved to Lake City, Michigan, and grew up there. Lake City is a super nice city, and yes, there's a lake. It's a big lake. It's beautiful. Fun fact about Lake City is it's actually known as the Christmas tree capital because of all of the Christmas trees that are grown there. Yeah, I did. Crazy to call it that for any other reason. Next up on our list, number five is Floyd Mayweather Jr. AKA Money. AKA Pretty Boy. AKA TBE. Apparently that means the best ever. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna be TBE real estate agent and YouTuber, TBE Paul. He's just stop. I guess that one's self-proclaimed from him too, but come on, it's true. I mean, the guy is awesome. Winner of 15 major boxing titles. 50 wins, zero losses. That's nuts, totally bananas. I've never won a fight in my life. I've never been in a fight in my life. Yeah, I figured. But I can run fast, I can run real fast. Like, maybe not fast enough to get away from one of his punches, but like, you should see me. I can hustle. Sportico released an all-time athlete earning list 
and Floyd Mayweather ranked as number six of all time with inflation adjusted 1.2 billion in career winnings. Billion with a B. Seems like he would like have that in his nicknames, like Billionaire Floyd. That'd be awesome. Floyd, if you're out there, you wanna move back to Michigan? Let me know. You could buy anything you want in Michigan with that kind of money. Dan Gilbert lives here. He's also a billionaire. Billionaire Gilbert, that's what I call him. And he's worth like something like 16 billion. That's a ton of money. I bet he can't fight though. I bet Dan Gilbert cannot fight. Number four on our list is Sonny Bono. Sonny and Cher. That's how I know him. Sonny was actually born in Detroit in 1935 and his family moved to California when he was seven. It's not his fault. He didn't want to do it. We've got a whole video about why you should move from California to Michigan. If you're from California, you should watch it. I'll link it here. Fun fact about Sonny, he was actually the mayor of Palm Springs from 1988 to 1992. Mayor Sonny in a sunny city. It makes sense. Truthfully, Palm Springs and California both sound way better than Michigan, so I don't blame them. Number three on our list is J.K. Simmons. You probably know J.K. Simmons from his roles on Law & Order, Oz, Spider-Man. That's actually the only place I know him, is Spider-Man. He was good. He did win a Best Supporting Actor Oscar for Whiplash. I never saw Whiplash, but I did see Spider-Man. That's my web slinger. Simmons was born in Gross Point in 1955, but his family moved to Ohio when he was like 10. I love Gross Point. Not a huge fan of Ohio. Oh, frickin' Ohio. If you watch my channel, you already know that. Number two on our list is Jerry Bruckheimer. Top Gun, Beverly Hills Cop, Pirates of the Caribbean. Caribbean or Caribbean? How do you say it? Flashdance, Con Air, Armageddon, Black Hawk Down, Bad Boys. Speaking of Armageddon, that... Aerosmith song. It was like it was played at my high school prom. I couldn't go anywhere without hearing that song. So it was good, but then it got to be like super annoying. Played out sort of everywhere. Bruckheimer was actually born in Detroit in 1943, and then he moved to Arizona for college. I don't blame him, but still, I feel like a lot of his inspiration for everything came from Michigan and Detroit. Number one person on our list is Tim Allen. Ooh, I love Tim Allen, AKA. Buzz Lightyear, AKA Tim the Tool Man Taylor, AKA Santa Claus. It's a lot, of, a lot of shoes to fill. He's also the voice of our Pure Michigan campaign that I probably can't use a clip from on my channel because YouTube will flag it. Tim was actually born in Denver, Colorado, home of my favorite omelet, the Denver omelet. But he actually grew up in one of my favorite cities, Birmingham, Michigan. Just think, David Spade, Tim Allen could have been walking around Birmingham, Michigan at the same time telling jokes. Probably not. Birmingham is actually the city where home improvement was based around. Remember that show? So if you like houses with like funky layouts and good fences, maybe Birmingham's your jam. I made a whole video about Birmingham and why you should live there and you should check it out here and I'll see you there.